last year record-wise didn't turn out as well as you guys would have liked, but you made a run in the playoffs. So do you feel like that success in the postseason can uh, serve us some motivation heading into this season? Yeah, I think it will give us a little momentum. You know, we got uh, nine starters coming back, so we got a lot of experience on both sides, nine on offense and on defense. So that will definitely help us out next year. Offensively, um, you guys unfortunately had some injuries at the quarterback position, but uh, you know, actually, when you take a look at the stats, they did a pretty good job as far as throwing the football goes. So talk a little bit about, uh, you know, with Mikey back there and the quarterback competition you guys going, what the expectations are for this offense in 2013. Uh, you know, we changed it up a little. We got a new uh, system going. We got a new triple option play, so that's going to play. And then uh, Mike's definitely he's back 100%, so everything should be good there. And then we got, even if he does go down, we got two experienced backups, so we should be fine there. When you take a look at your non-conference schedule last year, I mean, you guys you guys were playing Giants. So um, as far as that goes, do you feel like that kind of competition prepares you well for the next season and for this season uh, to get Dwenger back to the level of competing for an SEC championship this year? Yeah, it definitely gets you ready for the postseason. This year we play Cathedral and a team in Cincinnati, LaSalle. So that's going to be a huge challenge. But it just gets us ready for the postseason. What do you see as the biggest strength of this Dwenger team heading into 2013? Um, I'd say definitely our defense. You know, we got a pretty good secondary, and uh, we got a lot of skill positions on offense, good receivers. Everett's basically been there and done that, so we're ready for it. Final question, what are you most looking forward to here about 2013? I'm looking forward to where this team goes. I think we got great potential, you know, great experience, so we'll just see where it takes us. Well, first of all, if you look at personnel, in high school, it's about your line, and we got to make sure that our, our line, uh, although inexperienced, can get the job done. We've tried to simplify things offensively and defensively and work the guys real hard this summer that, that are ready, and I think we'll be pretty competitive up front. So that was that's going to be the, the main question mark is, is what we do up front. Um, we've got good coaches uh, coaching those people and uh, looking forward to the challenge. Last year, unfortunately, you, you got hit with the injury bug at the quarterback position, but you got some good play from Miller. Um, but how's Mikey feeling physically, and where are you guys at in the quarterback position as far as that competition goes? Well, we're, we're deep. Uh, you know, th those guys uh, will really add some depth. Also, they're, they're both very fine athletes, so we have used them different positions in the summer. We've used them at running back. We've used them at cornerback. And uh, both those both those two or three guys who will now probably end up being backups to Mike, they're all going to play at, at some other position. So they're good athletes, all of them. When you took it, take a look at what you've got also on the other side of the football, uh, I guess Ryan kind of starts it out and is a, is a big catch-all for you guys. Um, what have you seen defensively, and what do you think about this team defensively that's going to be uh, – going to hang your hat on, on the, as far as the defensive side of the football game? Well, you know, in defensive football, you got to set an edge. And so we've got two really good defensive ends, we feel, maybe three. Keenan Sentliver returns at that position. Zach Archer has stepped up and done a great job there. And then if, and if you go to your, your safety positions, Ryan has a strong safety on one side, and Gus Schrader is returning free safety there. So we're going to be able to hopefully hem some people in and, and, and contain. We've got linebackers that are returning. In uh, Tyler Tittman and uh, Andrew Gabbett, uh, and Marcus Stepp, those kind of guys. William Bloom will also contribute there. And in the line, we've got Nathan Neese, who is a, who is a tough guy up front. Justin Stewart's a returning defensive lineman. So we feel we've got uh, just about everything we need. We've got some guys to work in at corner there because we lost two really good corners last year. Two guys have gone on to play college football, uh, so we have to replace those guys. But we have some people ready to go. As far as this team goes, um, obviously, record-wise, not perhaps what you would have wanted, but at the end of the season, you guys make a run in the playoffs. Do you feel like that gives you guys something to build on for this coming season and show them th that success? Well, it sure does. You know, first of all, if you look at last year's record, uh, we played teams uh, like Northrop, Northside, Snyder, Lures, uh, Indianapolis Cathedral, Indianapolis Chittar, in you know, all in the regular season. And so we knew that once the playoffs came, we'd seen about as good as it gets. And, uh, you know, finished finish fairly strong. Uh, would have appreciated a little bit better second half in the regional there, which had taken us to the semi-state. But uh, with, with what we had, uh, they came on strong at the end of the year. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, thank you for, for covering high school sports. Uh, you know, you, your channel does a great job and, and all your staff. It's a pleasure to see us, uh, pleasure to see you out at our place every year. And thanks for all you do. Appreciate it.